Right. How are we doing today? I couldn't hear you very well over the phone. What was going on with it? Transmission went out of it. Oh no, that ain't good at all. Well, that's a good picture of you. No, it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, it looks like you wanted to take it over to 8021 Hardy Avenue yeah. in Raytown. Yeah. If I can get the same name on the X for me. Well, I see you got a Warsaw ad uh, f license there. What made you move up here? I'm not living up here. Oh, good girl, good girl. <laughs> My daughters live up here. Oh, I see. This one is the youngest. Driving her car, transmission goes out. We managed to get it up in the driveway. Uh-oh. Um, called my other daughter who lives at Raytown. Because her fiance might be able to fix it. Hopefully, it's just sensors. It That'd be just, nice. It was just sensors. They'll save a lot of money. Yeah. Other than that, it's going to be sold. Yeah, because <laughs> our transmission, even a used transmission, time you got to put, get buying a used training and putting it in, you're looking fifteen hundred dollars easy. Uh, three grand. Nope. Well, transmission shops here in Belton is about fifteen hundred to two grand to tear that one out, rebuild it, and put it back in. Mm-hmm. Well, well. And the car ain't worth that, you know. But. All right, can I have the keys to it? Yeah. Do you know if they got all their diamonds and gold and oh, all that yeah, good right. stuff out of there? Yeah, in section eight. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, sweetheart, I'll get it taken care of. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just carry my bag in the truck. Okay. Are you gonna ride over there with me? Yeah. Okay. I have no other way to get there. Okay.
here. Well, I can take the fishing equipment and get it out of your way. That is his baby. He'll never miss it. Oh, yeah. That's the way I am. I know exactly where my fishing poles are, where my tackle box is. <laughs> and when I come home, if they're moving an inch, somebody's going to hear about it. Yeah, right. That is his baby. I give up everything else before I give up my fishing equipment. Well, I won't give up my fishing You know, I went, I went to Walmart the other day. And like the big clothes you got there, the tiger sharks and... uh. Well, crap deals to get from Walmart. Uh -huh, yeah. I paid like 30 bucks for mine last year, beginning of the year again, and they got them on sale now for $17. Wow. Nice fishing poles. I have to wait until the first of the month I got fishing poles I've been carrying since I was 16, 17 years old. And I, I, and I went through a stage when I was growing up. <coughs> Every time I went by a garage sale, I saw a fishing pole, I had to have it. I probably got 50 poles at the house. I have all my dad's. All in big shit. And then every year at the beginning of the year I get the snow, so I gotta have a brand new pole. <laughs> I don't know why. I got plenty of poles. I always wanted a hot pink one, so I got one yeah. last year. I went out with my brother and him here while here last a couple weeks ago, and I, I, my girlfriend got her fishing poles. My brother got his stuff. I probably put 15 poles in the truck. He goes, "What are you gonna do with all those?" He goes, "I'm gonna make sure I got enough." Right? <laughs> yes, they work great. Okay.
Tell you, you want to just try dropping it in here, hon? I got you. Okay. Yeah. Just like your car here, yeah. if you run that battery dead, it can't stay in the ignition. Oh, really? Yep. Because it takes electricity to release it. Sweetheart, it was so nice to talk to you and meet you. Same here. You have good luck to you. Hon, it was good seeing you again. Let me give you a piece of paper real quick. Okay. 